Welcome everybody uh, to the view from the jungle. Uh, I just want to say thanks for viewing today and I'm going to get right into it. So I got another review for you guys today. Uh, I was at Pie Restaurant here in Barrie. It's 11 Victoria Street, uh, close to downtown, but it's right by the lakeshore. Uh, pretty, pretty nice location. Um, and I'm going to get right into it. So the first thing I always review is the actual facility. So I do have a checklist, especially for that. Uh, for the most part, it was a nice place. Uh, I don't have many complaints. We got there around 8 o'clock. Uh, it was Friday night, so it was pretty busy. We wanted to sit on the patio, but unfortunately the patio was full. Um, and uh, they said it was like a 25-minute wait, so we didn't want to wait 25 minutes. So we went into the dining area. Um, just to start off with, like I wasn't um, like completely pleased with it. Um, uh, so the, when we first got there, so the entryway itself, I didn't even know where to get into the restaurant. Uh, there was a, one entryway that's the one that was well lit and uh, apparently we weren't supposed to use that one. There was a podium outside where you're supposed to go and that's where they take you to your seat. Um, it was in like the darkness. So we, apparently uh, my girlfriend, she was with me. She knew where it was, but I went the wrong way. And um, yeah, so I didn't think the, the entryway was properly um, lit up. Um, that was the first thing I issue I had with the, the facility itself. Uh, the patio itself looked looked awesome. Like it was kind of dimly lit. It looked nice. Uh, too bad we couldn't sit there. But when we got into the dining room, our like our immediately our table was already wet, which is probably a good thing because it means they disinfected it. But at the same time, they probably should have dried it. Um, I don't like a wet table. I don't think anybody would like a wet table. Um, the doorway at the front was like open, and they let the bugs in. So while we were sitting there and while we were trying to enjoy our meals, there was like a fly flying around which I really don't like uh, I don't think anybody would like bugs and flies bothering them when they're trying to have a nice dinner um, yeah so when it came to like the menus themselves when we were seated they gave us menus there was three of us um, I did have another guest come with us her name's Olivia I'll tell you what she thought about the place in a minute but we, there was three of us and they only gave us two menus which um, which I don't understand why but we got two menus they looked kind of used and abused a little bit they weren't the cleanest um, the entire part we were sitting at was like all glass windows, right? So you can see outside the windows themselves didn't look the cleanest. They were like a lot of smudges and stuff like that. Um, and that's basically it for the facility. Um, oh yeah, the table itself as well. It wasn't wobbly or anything like that, but the table itself was like covered in like this vinyl wrap, which had like an advertisement for the restaurant. And there was like the... Uh, barcode in the middle so you can scan it the qr code scan for i think it was track and tracing which we didn't have to do because they asked us all the questions at the beginning uh when we were first walking in but uh, it was had this vinyl thing on it which to me it didn't feel too good um and yeah i didn't, I didn't really like the facility too much to say the least uh it was clean like you can see it was like freshly mopped it wasn't like dirt and stuff all over the floor or anything like that but um i just don't think it was like the I, I wasn't impressed, to say the least, with the facility. Um, and so that's what I thought about the actual building itself. When it comes to the actual meal and everything that we had, the actual experience, uh, I did write a couple of notes here. So there wasn't any waiting time for the for the table, obviously. We didn't sit on the patio. Uh, it was a 25-minute wait, so we went to the dining room. They had no wait for the dining room. We sat down immediately. Um, we were given to you. Know, yeah, so we were given, like, our drink menu was taken really quickly. Our, sorry, drink order was taken very quickly. Um, the menus were given to us immediately, well, lacking one menu. But um, the the drinks, they came in, like, those plastic, like, fast food, kind of, like, lower-end restaurant kind of uh, plastic cups, something you would see at, like, Pizza Hut or something. Uh, so I wasn't too impressed with that. Uh, the service itself was amazing. Uh, I had no complaints there. Our server, her name was Melissa. She, she really, she was there. Uh, she brought us our, 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 everything flowed properly, to say the least. The entire meal, uh, all of our orders were taken in an appropriate amount of time. <clears throat> the food did take quite a bit. After our order was placed, we waited 21 plus minutes uh, to actually get our pizza. And when we got the pizza, um, I wasn't too impressed with it. Half of the pizza that I got was, was charred. I know it was a wood-burning oven, but, like, it was black. Like, it was completely charred. 
uh, and, and for some reason it was still kind of cold too. So I don't know if the pizza was sitting after it came out of the oven for a while. Uh, I can't tell you, but the pizza wasn't hot and it was burned at the same time. So that was kind of, uh, kind of very disappointing. Uh, another disappointment was the, the men, uh, like, sorry, the topping options. Um, I wanted green peppers, like my go-to pizza, is pepperoni, onions, and green peppers. They didn't have green peppers, which I was shocked. Like I didn't know any type of pizza place that doesn't have green peppers as an option. Uh, they did not. So I wasn't too pleased with the, the menu options. Uh, like I was saying, the server herself, she was, she was amazing. She recommended pizzas for me. She recommended drinks, uh, everything. She was very knowledgeable about the menu and everything they had to offer. Uh, with that, we didn't, uh, we didn't get offered a drink, a dessert menu after the meal. So the pizza itself, it was a normal pizza. Like I, I've had fast food, like delivery pizza that tasted better. So I wasn't pleased with the meal to say the least. Um, but you know, it was, it was pizza. Like it wasn't bad pizza. Uh, but I didn't think it was cooked very well. And I didn't think it was anything special with it to say the least. Um, and with that, um, would I, re would I return to the restaurant based on the service? Yes. I think the service was excellent. Uh, the waitress was very attentive and very knowledgeable, like I was saying earlier. Uh, would I return to the, um, to the restaurant based on its food? Uh, no, no, I would not. So me personally, I would not recommend, um, the pie, uh, especially because of the pricing. So it was just basically regular pizza that cost more. And I don't know anybody who wants to pay extra for pizza. Like I, I like I was saying, I've had better pizza from uh, delivery places. Um, and that is my, that is my opinion on the pie restaurant. I did have my friend come with us. Her name was Olivia. Uh, she thought, uh, well, she did write a couple of things here. So the one thing that she thought it was lacking was the alternatives for when it comes to the crust options. Uh, if you go to Pizza Pizza, you have a bunch of gluten-free and, uh, you know, cauliflower type crusts and stuff like that. She does have like stomach issues. So she actually didn't even order pizza when we were there. She just got a salad because they didn't have any crust options. Um, so she wasn't pleased with that. Uh, she said the staff were really friendly. Like I was saying, the service was amazing. Uh, I, I couldn't couldn't uh, say anything better for the, the service. They were good. Um, and uh, same thing. She thought the, the, the pricing was a little too much as well. Um, and the last comment she made was that she loved the server. So that is my take on the pie restaurant here in Barrie. Um, if you have any comments or if you've been there before and you feel differently, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear anything, um, you know, negative or positive when it comes to that restaurant. But if you've been there, let me know. Uh, again, I do want to say thanks for uh, subscribing. I want to say thanks for viewing. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening, or depending on what time you're watching this uh, this video. Right now it's pretty late in the evening. It's like 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. But I'm going to post this video ASAP. And again, like, subscribe, uh, and make sure you share it. All right? So I just want to say thanks again, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night.